NeroCartoonGrid.com. Buongiorno everyone, Nero here, and welcome to Skylar and Pluck's Adventure on Clover Island. This was a game I found on stream? Steam? Steam? Okay, god. I've... I'm still recovering uh, from my oral surgery. I had all four wisdom teeth removed uh, simultaneously and have not been sleeping too well the last few days. It's been very sporadic, very on and off in terms of being able to sleep or uh, even eat quality food for that matter. I've been mostly sticking to liquids for the most part. Uh, I did pick up this game though for fairly cheap. I think when I picked it up maybe it was 10 bucks. I think they were having a special. And it caught my attention because I'm a fan of that era of gaming that was mascot driven. The era of Crash Bandicoot, of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, Super Mario Brothers. I'm trying to think what else was really out at the time. Uh, like uh, Medieval was a thing. I don't know if people remember Sir Daniel Fortescue. I'll throw an image of him up, but probably most people don't remember him too often. His games kind of just disappeared. I think after two major titles. But other than resting up, I picked this up. I haven't started it yet, but we're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna check our options real quick. Make sure everything's on the up and up. Um. I think we'll just leave everything. Uh, let's turn down the music just a scoosh. Yeah, let's turn down the music at a... Um, hello, Cam, let's go. Well, I still hear it, so... Oh, okay, so we have to confirm it. Let's go... Yeah, let's go 50 for the music. Uh, sound effects below. Subtitles on. So you guys can read along. Uh, for close... Yeah, I think we're good. I believe this is an indie title. I don't think it's majorly a company. So we're going In the outskirts of our galaxy, a relic from the ancient progenitor civilization. Ratchet and Clank, that's another one I loved. And I fear what could happen if it fell into the. So this is kind of like Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank was safe. Some say heroes aren't born, heroes are made. I guess cliches exist for a reason, mm. because our hero is just in the making. Bob? How is our test subject doing? Oh, well, look who's awake. Our little thief. Are you really so stupid as to think you could steal from the great CRT? Heck, I'm not even sure how you're still alive after that gruesome reconstruction. But hey, I'm not complaining. Once your brand new arm's complete, you'll be able to sucker punch people into orbit, baby. Now... If all this sounds a little strange to you, it's probably because I've started removing your memories. I know, I know. A tad extreme, but that's just how I roll. Can't let you keep that pesky free will of yours, can we? <laughs> Evil laugh. <laughs> okay, bye now. Sounds like someone's trying to do a... Installation complete. This was a rather unfortunate turn of events. Although you no longer remember said events. Hmm. Stand by. Initialize kinetic weapon system. It would seem that you have a much greater role to play, Skylar. Let's get you out of here. So the lead's a woman. Huh. I didn't even know that. I just saw a cat that, like, jumped around and it looked cool. Again, you know, Crash Bandicoot, Ratchet and Clank. Now, first things first. Are you uh, able to move a left analog stick. Man, she jumps pretty good. So she's some kind of cat, possibly. By the way, I know this is a weird thing. Every time they make an anthropomorphic character and it's an animal and doesn't have a tail, it annoys me. I don't know why. It just feels like it's weird that they would ignore that part of the anatomy. It'd be like if Rocket Raccoon didn't have a tail. It's just weird. Actually, this character kind of reminds me of Rocket Raccoon. Yeah, look at this. She kind of hovers. <laughs> um, kind of reminds me of Rocket Raccoon, actually. The whole science fiction angle, uh, the fact it's an animal, the fact it was experimented on. God, part of me thinks, oh, look, hearts like Legend of Zelda. Part of me thinks I shouldn't be recording this because my jaw's recovering, but at the same time, it's tender, but I feel like this will help stretch the muscles because I haven't been talking that much for a few days. All right, so graphically, it's actually not that bad. If this is indie, this looks not too shabby. You can tell the cutscenes, they were, maybe it was stylized to look like a comic. Maybe that's why they did it like that, but maybe just because it's cheaper. You seem to be fit as a fiddle. Oh. Now, I am more than a regular arm. Okay. 
Y button doesn't do anything. B does this weird Zelda spin attack. X punches. Okay, so I can move and twist. And then I can jump and ground pound. I like that effect, by the way, that thing, like the lines coming up. That's really cool. So where are we going? Is that... Wait. Oh, maybe it's just team coming from the vents. Yeah, it's vents. Okay. Use me to punch through those boxes. And see, now we click crystals instead of wampa fruit or... Wait. How did you get out? I mean, I see you're uh, taking a stroll. Good. Don't bother jumping those containers, though. It's not like you can jump twice in the air or something. Ah, pretty good dialogue. It's trying to be, um, kind of like, a. Uh... Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, ooh. You are made of stupid. It's trying to be like, um... God, what was it? The one with the, the squirrel. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Where it's like, you know, it's kind of like context-sensitive. It's like self-aware. Wait, hold on. I'm kind of curious to see where this leads, like, narratively, what are they going to do? Because this is like a dead genre now, I mean, yeah, you got Nathan Drake and stuff, but it's, it's not the same. Oh, okay. No biggie. Oh, that's cute, they even did like little cheat. Oh, that graphic's cute. This reminds me of like, yeah, those kinds of games. Functions as a triple jump while in the air. Oh, so you slapped around Dave and Steve. They were useless anyway. Did I miss it? No, no, I guess I got one. Yeah, but like, I, I kind of miss this genre of games. I think people have moved past the idea of colorful characters. Obviously, Nintendo's the exception because they. Mario's still around, um, of course, uh, Sonic keeps making games, but... It's funny, the voice actor who's playing the uh, CRT sounds like he's doing a mix of what sounds like a bit Patrick Warburton, but a little bit of Longhorn from Freakazoid. It's like a weird blend. But yeah, I, I miss this kind of genre of gaming. I guess we, we, they just don't do it anymore outside of, like, Nintendo. I mean, you got... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Wait, hold on. Is that it? You, uh, you know, you have... Uh, like, Nathan Drake. I guess those are the modern guys, but... I blame you, Bob. I blame you. Well, I'm sure that ended well. It's like Bob from Deadpool. Can I not grab enemies with my grapple? I guess I can't. The... Hmm, is this safe? Oh, it's grass. Ooh, yeah, that texturing's pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it could always be worse, I suppose. The thing is, I think with this... Step on red buttons to activate all banner of can mechanisms. I get over there? I think with this genre of gaming, it, it, ooh! Okay, so, well, we all know she can't swim now. I think with this genre of gaming, I think it just, it's sort of passed to a degree, like, I love Ratchet & Clank, uh, Sly Cooper, that's another good one. Uh, Jack and Daxter, that's another good one. Spyro, that's another one. I guess, uh, they just moved past this genre at this point, like, there isn't an, either, there isn't an interest in it, or uh, the market has made it that there's no interest in it because we have such a market flooded with like your shooters and stuff like that where I think now it's gone to the point where it's okay I have to climb back up it's gone to that point where it's just like sort of unfortunate that people just aren't interested in these kinds of characters anymore and I think these are fun games that you know we should br what the hell well Ah, okay. I think it's a. I think it's a. It's fun that we have this genre, but we don't have it anymore. Like we got so many freaking shooters now. Like I've, I played Battleborn. A bunch of my friends want me to get into uh, Overwatch, which I'm I'm into Overwatch on a narrative level. I love it, uh, but I can't. I don't really like shooters all that much. They're fun to just blow off steam or anything, but I'm I'm all about story, man. 
And uh, I hope this has a good story because, you know, this is, you know, like Crash Bandicoot has such a simple story and I liked Dr. Cortex. Matter of fact, check this out, guys. I just got this in the mail. I got a little statue of Dr. Robotnik off of uh, eBay. And I, I love Dr. Robotnik. He's one of my favorite characters of all time in terms of video games. So it's just, I was so happy to, to get that. Shame he's not the main character because I think playing as a overweight scientist that looks like Theodore Roosevelt would be far. I think it'd be far more enjoyable than playing as a hedgehog. Bob, what do those things even do? She's getting away. You're forcing my hand here, kitten. Time to wake up our little friend. Bucks. <laughs> oh, at least the load times are fast. That's good. I like the art design, though. I mean, it's drawn very well. That's that's for certain. End of the line, kitty cats. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's supposed to be kind of like a comic, uh, like a motion comic. Dang it, you imbecile! You complete. Now's your chance, Kyla. Escape. I want to fight this thing. Ah, I don't get to fight a giant robot. Lame. Race for impact. I guess it's pluck. No way. Today's finally the day. Woo! This is it. I'm Audi. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hmm. That's kind of cringeworthy. Friend. Greetings, you guys. I'm Plux, and these islands are my home. Man, that's that is still the dialogue. Me Isla is Sue Isla. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Plux. <sighs> but we have urgent matters to attend to. Skyla, if you wish to regain the memory CRT erased, you must find the progenitor structure called the Siphon. And oh, I think I know what you're talking about. The islanders always jam about that thing. It's some huge, ancient-looking thingamajig, right? That, uh, sounds just like it, I guess. Can you take us there? I know these islands like the back of my wing. Let me show you the way. So this is going to be a Jack and Daxter kind of relationship. She's going to be silent, and that thing's going to be a motor mouth. I think he's an owl, right? He looks like an owl with like a little aviator hat helmet. Okay. Again, graphically, it's not too bad. Uh, Clover. Now, I know felines don't like getting wet, and your mechanical arm is far too heavy for you to be swimming. Oh. So watch out for large bodies of water. At least they explained it narratively. Hmm. Visually, again, not too shabby. Um. The you know, water's a little awkwardly textured, but... Yeah, it's it's just sort of bummer. You know what? I'd really like to see Medieval come back in full swing. I actually... I really have always liked Sir Daniel Fortescue's uh, character design. That's a shame that that never went anywhere. It just seemed like it was like, uh... No one cared. No one cared about the idea of playing as an undead knight. Which sounds so awesome in its own right. It sounds like such an awesome concept to... Uh, have for a video game and nothing happened nothing ever went with it kind of curious so I'm assuming they're aliens or it's just an anthropomorphic world like uh, Bucky maybe it's like Bucky O'Hare but I am I'm digging this so far it's nice and casual which is good I really wish I could play the Crash Bandicoot games but I don't have the console for it and it's too expensive of a hobby to keep updating consoles I have a Wii U I can't even get a Wii uh uh, well, now we, uh, Nintendo Switch. I just don't have the money for it. Far too expensive of a hobby. Shame, looks like they might have some good games on there as well. Yeah, this is fun, though. This reminds me so much of the old days. It's like a good, good nostalgia trip. Dialogue could be a 
bit better. Maybe the voice acting too. Um, again, it's indie, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hold it too much against them. You could do only so much when you don't have big budgets. Financially, That's that is funny. Um, it's funny because I've been I've been meeting some people online for a little bit now, and I keep thinking how good they actually have voices for voice acting. Like, uh, if you guys haven't checked out uh, the YouTube channel for Doctor Crafty, you could just look up Doctor Crafty on YouTube. Uh, Doctor Crafty has this voice that just it, you know, first off, not only does it fit the character that he plays, but he's just such a delight sounding individual and personality that I can't help but think that he would be great for a video game. We're gonna go over here. Cause Oh no, you know what, let's go back and before we leave this island. Oh Jesus Christ, the camera angle. Oh, I don't have to hold down Y, okay. And I'll you. Oh, I guess I'll just jump. But, you know, like, uh, Linkara, actually, Lewis actually has a great voice for characters. Um, surprisingly, like when he does uh, voices for, uh, I think actually for Dr. Crafty, he does Wax, he plays Waxworth for that up and coming indie game. And I really hope that game comes out. I'm looking forward to play that. That looks like a... What is it? Fiona Frightening and the uh, Wicked Wardrobe is this awesome indie game that Dr. Crafty is working on. And it just looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to play that. Uh, hopefully it'll be like one of these, again, one of those kind of like platformer style games. It feels like only Nintendo does these. And I don't know if it's just that there's... Um, I don't know if the environment shifted, where it's like, we uh, we want more mature games, we don't want these fun kid games anymore. Because, I, I swear, the only ones I could think of besides Nintendo is just like Sonic the Hedgehog are still making games. But everyone keeps like crapping on them, because they keep just getting progressively worse. Wait, is that the Elder? What is she doing in a cage? I don't know. Oh. So, wait, was she communicating with my arm or was she screaming at us from a distance? I wonder, can I use these for these crystals or shards for anything? Like, do, do I, uh, can I make that jump? Oh, sweet, I did. Can I use these shards for anything? Can I upgrade, uh, Skylar? Can I, uh, why did I, why, I meant to, I meant to twist across. I gotta say, I like the music. It's very nice and quaint. Aw, see, a little bit more uh, interactive environment wouldn't have hurt, guys. I hope I get, like, damn it, I double jumped again. Oh, damn it. Well, at least now I can know how the replicator works. Okay. What was I saying? Yeah, um, again, this feels like just a genre that disappeared. Well, what are some of your guys' favorite games, actually, in this, like, genre? You know, do you guys, do you guys remember Resident, e uh, Resident Evil? Medieval, do you guys remember, well, obviously, Crash Bandicoot just came back, but that new one. Uh, hopefully that means the Naughty Dog will still, they'll try and maybe make some more. It really is a bummer that, um, yeah, they had the Mind Over Mutant ones, and those were fine. I enjoyed both of them. Uh, they weren't particularly great. I've always wanted to reboot Crash Bandicoot to give it a new, um, just a, a new, fresh take on the mythos. Um, I feel like it's... Can I jump in there? I'm gonna take it. Yeah. I was pretty sure I couldn't do it, but I wanted to take a shot. I've always wanted to redo the mythos for the Crash Bandicoot. I've always wanted to redo the mythos for Sonic the Hedgehog. I've... I'm trying to think what else. Um... Ratchet and Clank, I wouldn't mind because I think they botched it pretty big with the uh, the movie. Uh, did not care for that movie in the slightest. Um, looked great visually though, give it that much. Too bad it, it bombed so badly that that Sly Cooper movie is now not being released. Which is a shame because that also looked good. Yeah, I'm just wondering like... 
What can I use these shards for? They haven't told me anything yet. That's like the bolts in Ratchet and Clank, you know? Do I get upgrades? Do I get cool weapons? I hope I get a gun arm! <sighs> Excuse me, that would be really cool. And can I get to the, this one? See, look at that. That's, that looks really neat. Again, like this whole... Ooh, is that like a... Is that the moon or another planet? Wow, look at that. <sighs> now, that's just beautiful. You know? That's just pretty to look at. Yeah. Just... I, I would like to bring the genre back. I would like to reinvigorate those properties. Uh, cause to me, it's like, can I... No? Nothing? Oh, I guess you were the receptor. Alright, well, let's free, uh... Oh, let's look around real quick. Nothing... Are you serious? Wait, that's what my shards do? They open the freaking ki Are you kidding me? Oh, come on! What about, like, cool upgrades or something? You can't be serious that it's just there to open a flippin' door. That'd be like playing Cra- not Crash Bandicoot. Well, I guess Crash Bandicoot, yeah, I guess it'd be like playing that collecting Wampa Fruit to open a flippin' door. Or Sonic and his rings. I was- in my- back of my head I was thinking, um, Ratchet and Clank, like, you collect the bolts, you could upgrade your, uh, your weapons, get like a Rhino and stuff like that. So what? I'm not gonna be able to upgrade the, uh, arm? I hope I can upgrade the arm. Seems kinda sucky if all I could do is just grapple with the flippin' thing. Uh, my finger just. And... Okay. Before I free that person, I just want to get all the stuff. Yeah, okay, so I guess I have to go free the elder before anything else happens. Yeah, it's, God, I hope I can get upgrades with the arm. It would, it seems like a missed opportunity. You have an alien cat with a robo arm. Why wouldn't you have upgrades to, to like shoot stuff? That sounds awesome. Okay, let's uh. Oh. Wow, you are a weird looking design. Not boring though. Calamity has struck our island, and he calls himself the CRT. His greedy attempt to deconstruct the siphon broke it apart, and I can feel the life force of this moon seeping away. It's an ancient progenitor mechanism powered by three fuses. As the CRT stole one of them, the other two returned to their original places of creation. On the highest point of the island. Mount Crumpet. That's where the Grinch lives. In the seed lost in time. And the stolen one is kept in a fortress of steel. Okay, so this is like the hub area. He has imprisoned my people, the Loa, trying to extort us the into Loa. revealing the, Loa. the Fuse's locations. Oh, please, if you find any of my children, break open their cages just like mine. And for the trouble, I will increase your health. Oh. So if you ever feel weak and beat down, remember to come and talk to me. That sure seems like a tall order. I'm sure you'll do fine, Skylar. Pleasure meeting you. Plux, I know you haven't embraced Clover Island as your home, and I understand that. But it needs you now more than ever. What? Me? You know this island, so you must guide Skylar on her journey. I guess I know my way around. Sure, if you say so, Jelly Beans. Very good, my friends. And Skylar, let Clover Mountain be a trial of your courage. Best of luck to you both. Yeah, thanks. All right. Open five for a heart. Open, open five. Oh, what five? Uh, five kid boxes. Still imprisoned lower out there. Please release more of them, and I will increase your health. 
that's a lame reward. I'm all for the idea of going the extra mile to get the 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 Loa. It's it's Loa, as far as I remember, because uh, in Voodoo in Voodoo mythology, there's the Loa. Um, that said, just increased health feels like a weak reward. It really does. Um, I feel like I could probably beat this game on just three hearts. It'd probably be certainly a challenge, but I don't doubt that it's possible. But, okay, yeah, well, uh, I got on the right way? No, I think I'm going the wrong way. Um, uh, just looking around then. I guess there are no Loas. Oh, maybe there are. There's, because I have a counter. I have a counter that says zero of nine. That implies... Okay, that implies they're in this area. Well, I guess I... Oh, see, there's one up there. Up. Oh, damn it! I am so clumsy. I guess I won't, um... I won't but let you guys sit through me going after all the, uh... Loa in each individual section. I'm pretty sure that is just gonna be... Quite frankly, just a time-filling venture that isn't really gonna be worth it. Wait, how am I supposed to get up there? Is there, like, a climbing... No... Well, wait. Oh, am I even? Oh! Kind of reminds me of the stars, uh, the chubby stars from Mario. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, okay, this is not in this area. I won't go after each one individually. Um, I just think that'll be a time consuming process that. Uh, frankly, won't do anything, and I want to see the story. I could always, I guess, come back to these areas. And also, I kind of want to keep these episodes short. I used to do hour-long, um, sticks. I basically... I'm just gonna have to restart with sticks from scratch, probably, because of how things ended up going with the, uh, footage, and... Uh, that, that ended up as a train wreck of the highest caliber. Uh, but I don't see, really... Okay, I hear chirping. Can you do anything? Can, can you can I like, grab you and you fly or something? You just been floating around. You don't do crap. And apparently I can face through nets. But I can't jump on nets. She's a cat ghost. A coast. Cat ghost. Okay, well, hold on. Oh, there's another one. Might as well get it since I'm right here. I presume I can't... What is... You just bounce off of them. Okay. I presume... Wait. So I presume I can't go... There's no way, right? Like... Yeah, there's no way I can get over there. Like, there's... There's gotta be no way I can get all nine in this area, right? I mean, there's... God, my mouse keeps falling. Oh, that's why my cords are wrapped around it. Ah! It just seems like, yeah, they're, they're, that can't be it. And I guess I could look around for the lower here, and that's it. There's no way I can get all nine of them now, right? I mean, there's got to be, like, there's got to be upgrades. I just, there can't not be upgrades for your arm. It's a robot arm. It's got to be able to, like, have thrusters or, like, shoot energy or something. Okay, I, like, I keep hearing chirping. I don't know if that's plucks or if that means there's something nearby. When, okay, what are we looking at? Okay, well, guys, I'm going to wrap this up here, actually. We're at 29 minutes, so I'm going to wrap it up here for this episode. I do want to keep these kind of short, but we'll see where this goes. I I guess I'll just skip the lowest in this area, and I'll move on to each area instead narratively. I'm not too... I'm not in, I don't think I'm going to be in such a dire situation that I'm going to really dramatically need to grind to get hearts. But we'll see where this goes. You know. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Share on social media. And always be sure to tune in to Tune Grin. Ciao for now.